You have probably, especially lately, been seeing a lot of headlines about which mask is best. Are cloth masks better, or should we be looking for those N95 masks like a lot of doctors are wearing? That is, if we can find those these days. Dr. Kimberly, Kimberly Prather is the director at the National Science Foundation's Center for Aerosol Impacts on Chemistry of the Environment, and she is a professor at the University of California, San Diego, and she is back with us once again to talk about masks this time around because uh, we've been hearing so much about this. As far as you've been able to see uh, with, with your expert uh, training here, which masks work? So uh, this has evolved over the course of the pandemic. Um, you know, I myself was wearing, I was wearing surgical masks, those little blue ones mm -hmm. at the beginning and they seemed okay, but now they're not. And so our mask game has been upped and we have to think about better masks. And so in a nutshell, it's things like what we call KF94s, KN95s, um, and, and N95s. Mm. And, um, and you know, there's a lot of misinformation out there, I would say, um, you know, propagated even from the top. Uh, this, this mask, that's like the hard shell N95, those are uncomfortable, but there are really comfortable. I wear a very comfortable N95 now as do all the experts. And that is your number one line of defense um, is the mask you wear. And so when people worry about ventilation, filtration, what air you're gonna breathe with other people, if you're wearing a good mask, you are pretty darn protected and you're protecting others at the same time. Mm -hmm. So it's really, really good. But we're, we've now got to move cloth masks. You know, there are ones that are like multiple layers with filters added and all this stuff. but. If you try these other masks, which are out there, um, you you will start to like them a lot more. Mm -hmm. I will I will tell you. Everybody I know is is like, wow. Once I tried it, you know, it's just there's a lot of misinformation about this topic. So just so that that we're clear here, if we've been relying on a cloth mask for the past several months, or or especially those blue surgical masks, uh, those really don't cut it when we get to this uh, Omicron variant. That's exactly right. I, I cringe when I see people, even in hospitals, still wearing the surgical masks. Those were designed, they're surgical masks. By definition, they're designed to stop spray. That's it. They come out in, you know, when you speak and people who are doing surgery speak. And so they block drops, which is great. But aerosols are like smoke. Think about smoke. Smoke just bends right out. There's these little cracks right here. You can put, there's actually really nice videos on how you can put a brace and close that down, or you can double mask. There are ways you can make them better. But alone, they are problematic and people are getting infected with them more and more, with, mm. especially with this variant. And we've been through times in this pandemic where we've seen big runs on masks. Uh, is there a good place to find one right now that you know of? Yeah, there's some really good resources where people have tested them out. Honestly, it's only gotten better. Um, and so, yeah, there's, I mean, I think I gave, I gave you some links, which I hope you can share with your listeners. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's Project N95. One of the challenges is that's why you heard me say KF94. Mm -hmm. Those are Korean made and those tend to, like a lot of people really, especially for kids, think they're really comfortable. Um, KN95, there's some counterfeits out there. So you have to be careful mm -hmm. of what's been actually tested. And so um, there are places you can go uh, to find out if you, I, I'm an active Twitter person. And so, you know, we're out there putting out the information. There is really useful information and your options honestly have grown mm -hmm. and they've grown well beyond that uncomfortable, um, you know, N95 that cuts into your face. Yeah.